this place is called the oxygen city a new site that is being developed is it being developed some parts of it is being developed so we are at the sales stage so when you have a, a space like this you allow people to buy into the development people are now buying the plots by the time they are done buying the plots, then you can start building mm -hmm. so now it's as if it's just plot sales but very soon you start building structures okay and then it will be fenced it will be gated community and then the development can take off from there so these are the first settlers that are coming in right now it's called the oxygen city the developer's name is uh, volta gates uh, real estate and then it's uh, at hope mm -hmm. okay and his name is uh, don abuka uh -huh. get it. so the location is oh Adapt. this place is called adakulichu efe mm -hmm. adakulichu efe is a town adjacent to ho uh, if you are from the Abidoma road coming to ho huh? so that's where the land is ho is why is it named the oxygen city can't you call the oxygen here we are not enjoying the flow of uh, air here it's so cool it's the so chilled nice. the yeah mountain is the mountains the air the, air is the so trees, clean, the greenery. You know. But one thing about people is that when they get their uh, lands and they are about to develop, you see they clear all the trees uh, yeah. from the land and the land becomes bare of yes. trees. You like it? No, I don't like it that way. If you are doing construction, you need space to work. That's why they do that, which is not good. What you do is that when you cause that kind of massive destruction to the area, mm -hmm. you, should, you should actually plant it at other places. Mm -hmm. Some abroad and people who are a little more civilized would have left some trees and the plot there. The Ghana, the plot itself is not even that big in the first place <laughs> for you to be living a whole thing in the center of the plot. <laughs> So you just clear everything which is easier. So if you can see this plot, they've done that. They left that. They left, yeah. Uh, which is a good thing. They have coconut trees. We are leaving some of the trees inside. So you realize mm -hmm. that you can keep that out in the area. Okay. So guys, as you can see, the place is being developed. We have some buildings already <laughs> coming up. Okay. When they were selling, when they started selling this place, it was really really cheap but now what's the price now it's 45,000 cities 45, cities it was i bought it for 16,000 cities no, just 16, about a year or two ago that is why you should invest in real estate yeah, because after just a few sometimes even after months you get your money appreciating hello all right, let's speak to the CEO of Oxygen City, Volta Gates Estate. Hi, sir. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Yeah, please. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. How are you doing too? I'm doing good. Can you tell us a bit about Volta Gates Estate? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Volta Gates Estate is a company that is a small uh, this real estate business. We took up a building. Uh, community for people to live. Okay. Uh, we have Epoch City, we have the UHAS community, which is the university community, and okay. then we have the Oxygen City. Currently, we are in the Oxygen City of the okay. Botagate Estate. Okay, this is the Oxygen City. Yes. The, okay. the reason why it is Oxygen City is because of the breeze. The breeze, oh the my breeze God. The breeze that flows here, you know, you can feel it. Yeah. You know, when you live in this community, you don't need uh, uh, what air condition in your room? <laughs> yes. You don't need air condition. If you open up your window, you are good to go. The natural environment, because of the mountain. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And that's the mountain, yeah. guys. Yeah. A lot of people, when they want to invest in land, sometimes they feel like, oh, the place is too far, it's bushy, and they are discouraged. Yeah. What do you have to tell those kind of people who wants to invest in real estate, but I think that the place is. Um, bushy or far away from town yeah hey let me tell those who are watching me today look Accra as it used to be or in the city it wasn't like the way it was when you are seeing it today every place now is a community that people will have to live and in the next few years to come you will be marvel to see the community change entirely you know from here from here to the downtown, it's just about seven, eight minutes to hold downtown. Okay. You know, 
and then from the stadium to this place is just three minutes okay. by drive three minutes you are here so this place for instance you come you see the green grasses here i mean many people have acquired this place and more are coming don't wait for people to acquire their plot or their building before you rush you know some started buying around sixteen thousand a year or yeah. two but now it's 35 40 000. oh my goodness <laughs> you see that's how land appreciates that's one good thing about land or property and because of the appreciate the appreciative nature of it thanks for the clarity yeah before everybody starts a business right most of the time we started for the money yeah. right but i want to ask what is the apart from making profit summer what is the inspiration behind starting real estate right here in Ho? very well the inspiration was that i was living in america as a green card holder okay and i decided to leave america and come back and create what i've seen in america let me build America in home, in home. America in Ghana. What I've seen, I've been to many communities in the States. Wow. So I decided to come back. My passion is to come and create the same communities we used to see up there, over here. That is why you can see the design, the, 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 the gardening, and then in terms of the uh, recreational facilities we are putting up over here. So that in the next few years to come, when you come here, you'll be marveled to see that which community is this. I mean, the, the landscaping over oh here, God. the landscaping, you know, I want to bring American to work. To Okay. American to her. You want to bring America to home. Yes. So guys, you are listening. We yeah. are bringing America to home. Yes. But when they come into Ghana, all they think about is Accra, Accra, Accra. The viewers, let me tell you. I'm somebody who doesn't want to live in Accra. When I came back from the state, I would have, uh, I mean, located, relocated to Accra. But I decided to come to a whole, the regional capital to live here. Now look at how Accra is choked. Look at the traffic all over if you're going to wear the stress, the psychological trauma people go through. From here in Bo here, the traffic is less. You move to the downtown, you transact your business, you come back without any traffic. You are good to go. So I want to let those of you watching me that it's good to live in other parts of the country, especially Ho, which is a very serene regional capital uh, that uh, many are showing interest to live because it's the three hours from here to Accra three hours and then by flight is 30 minutes here in Accra train to also come and if the train is here you can live in Ho here and go to Accra and work and come back wow interesting yeah. it was back in the state people travel from Pennsylvania to New York to go and work people travel from New Jersey to New York to okay. go and work and come back wow yeah Seeing it in commercial terms, people are more interested to buy real estate in Accra than other parts of Ghana. So why should people come to Ho? Uh, that is a very good question you put up there. You know, why Ho and not Accra? Yes, in Accra, when you have this type of investment, in terms of uh, the, the, the rush and the market, I mean, very great. Huh? But Back then, was it like that in Accra? Mm -hmm. Something you to start from O2 as mm -hmm. like that, as it started in Accra. Accra today wasn't like that. It was people who went there to invest like what I'm doing mm -hmm. So in 5, 10, 20, 50 years time, when you come to O2, and you get to this community, you marvel, and you see, ah, trust me, we have trust go to you. That is why the passion that I should live in the world and live this is not a crime. A crime here is good. People rush to buy the market. Why everybody wants to know they live in a crime. But we always want to live in a crime. Everybody wants to rush. Then how, how are we going to? I mean, you know, the traffic, as I said, if everybody wants to be in a crime, then there will be nothing in other part of the country. Yes, that's true. Uh, and don't forget, Buta region is the tourism hub. In the tourism hub of the country. Many people are trooping in here 
to come and then explore to see our potentials so yes let's do nice things here so that when they come they can also feel to live among us over here yeah i have a lot of people watching me yeah. who would like to visit the volta region but they always ask what are some of the tourist attractions here for them to see when they are in the water region yeah thank you very much uh water region has so many like in tourism <laughs> potential in, in Ho, you can see right here mm -hmm. that's a few minutes walk mm -hmm. that is the mountain one of the tallest mountain in this one yeah this one is the tallest mountain no it's not oh, the one, tallest, okay. one of them okay in water region what is called that's Adaklu Mountain. Adaklu Mountain. Yeah, okay, that's, that's very one. Yes. Okay. So uh, almost every festive, you see people coming to scale the mountain. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. They come here to scale. And then when you view the other side, mm -hmm. that is uh, uh, Mountain Alenqui. Ah, this one. Yeah, the okay. one. That's why the many hotels are reside. Uh, oh, okay. There. Yeah. Ah, that's seen Mountain Alenqui. Alenqui. Yes. That's another mountain. Then we also have from here to Amajope, where you can get to Mount Gemi. Oh, it's also not okay. that far. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's also not that far from here. Then when you talk about uh, the reserve, forest reserve, you mm -hmm. have um, forest reserve here. Here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Not far from here. Okay. Yes. Then. The, yeah, right from here to there. We have the airport. The airport is not all that far. Okay, we have an airport here. Yes. Okay. The airport is not far from here. The airport is not far from here. Okay. And then, uh, we have, we have the rivers, lakes. We have the Kukudai. Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, pond at the uh, Aveda uh, over here. Okay. We have the Kente rivers. Uh, yard at Agotina Pateway. Okay. Then the okay from here to the mountain, the monkey sanctuary at uh, at Tometu is not that far. It's just about an hour, less than an hour drive from here. Oh, okay. Then the blue waterfall. We have all Popular. that. Yes, we have all the blue waterfall. We have the lagoon from here to the southern Volta. It's about uh, also an hour drive. Uh -huh. It's not that far. So. Uh, a lot of potential are in Ho and then Volta region for you to come and explore. Wow, yes. interesting, interesting. Yeah. Away from that, what is the future like for Oxygen City? Wow, the future of Oxygen City is mega. <laughs> it's going to be mega. If I tell you uh, the kind of investment that I did put here, you know, uh, I was in the uh, Houston, Texas. Houston, okay. I was in Houston, Texas to study a community called Woodland. Woodland. Yeah, you can go Google Woodland. It's one of the best community in Houston, okay. Texas. Okay. I went and then picked out the model. Mm -hmm. The model they adopted in that community, which we are currently implementing here mm -hmm. by investing into the landscaping, planting ornamental trees. Okay. Uh, so many things, yeah. Okay. That we are trying to uh, implement over here from what we have learned uh, uh, woodland. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, what advice would you give like uh, Africans in the diaspora who are planning to come back and invest in Ghana? Wow, thank you very much. Uh, those of our folks in diaspora listening to me and watching me live, um, this is the time for you to come back home so that we can put our hands together and create our own worldview, how we want it to be. Yes. No one will do it for us. We got to do it ourselves. That is why I'm here. I will be in the state in a couple of days from now mm -hmm. as one of the guest speakers for Veterans, that's Siena. Okay. The Veterans Annual Convention wow. in Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak, talk about what some of these uh, features that we are putting here. Um, so the babies in the diaspora watch me in Siena. Mm -hmm. Yes, these are some of the things we want to project about our region, specifically Oxygen City, mm -hmm. what we are doing currently in the Oxygen City. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Final one for the youth, for the yeah. African youth who uh, feel like all hope is gone. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's a very good question. The youth. 
Africa is the next place to live. Africa is the next continent for our youth. Look, the hope is in Africa. America, UK, Europe, Australia, any other continent, though in the next few years, they all start trooping to Africa. Because we have so much. We have the, uh, the talent, we have the, uh, the resources that is needed for us to, I mean, take off as one of the best continents in the world. So the future belongs to the youth. Mm -hmm. Never lose hope. You got to make it. We we'll, we'll, we'll support the youth. We, have, we need to leave a legacy so that in, in 50 years to come, our children, children will be living, they will be living in a place like paradise in Ehu or Accra, or Kenya, Rwanda, South Africa or wherever. Africa is the hope of the future. So the youth never be discouraged. Okay. Never be discouraged. Develop your potential. Every potential you have within you, this is the time for you to and empty it, work on it, and you become somebody. Okay. Never waste your talent. Never waste your energy. Gather all these things and do something little by little. You should not rush to acquire wealth in a matter of a day, in a matter of a week. Wealth is created gradually. Gradually. It's a gradual process. Okay. If you create wealth through gradual process, it becomes stabilized. It, it lacks for generation to come down to make wealth within a twinkle of an eye, which doesn't last. So let the youth be cautious in terms of how to uh, plan for their future. Okay, thank you so much. All right, sir. If anyone wants to like get a property from a uh, Volta Gate, right? Yeah, Volta Gate. Was, what, how can they get to Volta Gate? If you want to buy property from Volta Gate, you just contact us. Our mm -hmm. number is follow 0244 180076. 0244 180076 or 020 768 3690. Okay. 020 768 3690. Our office is located at KCS downtown, opposite the STC Civic Center. So, how much is a plot of land going for? Yeah, at the Austin City currently we have 35, 40,000. Mm -hmm. At the Airport City, we have 25,000. We have the 18,000. At the U House site of Watergate, we also have 40,000, 50,000 mm -hmm. uh, lands earmarked over there. So, how many uh, plots of land are we looking at here? Okay. Uh, in terms of the plots, we have 435 plots. Okay. Over here, including uh, the uh, uh, mini mall center, recreational center. Mm -hmm. We also have a place for church. Okay. Community center. Okay. A uh, place for police post. Oh my God. Yes. We are all located within the uh, Asian city here. Okay. Then it's a complete mm -hmm. community. It's a complete community. All right, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Yes. You're Highly welcome. appreciated. You're welcome. Thank You're you. Welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>